Hello, my amazing students. Welcome to week two. So this week we are going to be covering conception, heredity, and prenatal development. So a lot of very important concepts. Um, so let's go ahead and start with our week two objectives where you uh, found this video. And let's scroll down. Let's look a little bit at the topic and the course objectives that we're going to be covering this week. And then if we scroll down, we will see the actual assignments that we have. So our uh, discussion post is regarding prenatal learning. It is worth 20 points. Your initial post is due on the 21st, which is a Friday, and your responses are due on Sunday the 23rd. Um, this week, you are going to be using the technology that you'll be using for the rest of the semester. Um, I call these your play posit study lectures. Students have been big fans of them in the past, so I have continued to use them. So hopefully you will enjoy them just as much as previous students have. Um, and so the, it is worth 20 points and it is due by Sunday night. Same with your chapter two quiz for this week, which is due on Sunday night as well. So um, what I want to do is let's go to our discussion first. So instead of using Flipgrid, you're going to have a traditional looking um, assignment prompt and post. So you'll have some information here, um, including the link for the TED Talk I would like you to watch. And so what I'm going to have you do first um, is watch the TED Talk. And then once you know a little bit more about prenatal learning, I want you to go onto the internet and find an article um, looking at a study that examine what fetuses are capable of before birth. So um, this is your opportunity to really dive into maybe some prenatal learning that you're most interested in. And what you're going to do is you're going to summarize the article in the post. So in your initial post, you're going to um, make sure that when you're summarizing what you've learned in the article that you found on the internet, that you are responding in your own words. I want to know what you learned from this article, not what the author of the article um, wrote verbatim. So I want to I want to hear your voice in what you're writing. Okay. Um, also. If you do quote the author at all, make sure that you cite them. So provide a citation, put it in quotation marks, um, include the link to where you found what you learned. Um, that'll all help you to prevent plagiarism. Okay, so your original post or your initial post should be between 350 to 500 words. I always have a word count, but I'll be honest, I'm not going to sit there and count each one of your words. It really is to support you in really thinking about what you're writing in your response. Instead of just writing, you know, one or two sentences, um, you're actually doing some critical thinking um, and, and making some connections to what you're reading in your textbook. Now, once you have posted your initial response, and you can do that by simply clicking reply here. Um, and once you've posted your post, you can respond to two peers by Sunday. So it's very important to note that your original posts are due on Fridays and your responses are always going to be due on Sundays. So that's a good kind of pattern to start getting into so that you know um, when to turn things in so that they are not late. Uh, discussion posts are the only things I do not accept late um, and they do close after the due date. So I'll show you just really quickly. When you click reply, you can type your message in or you can post or record your, your video. So let's say you're not really a 
writing kind of person. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to write a whole paragraph. Um, you'd rather tell me about what you learned or tell your the other students about what you learned. Um, I am totally open this semester um, to having you record or upload your video response. That is fine by me. So go ahead and use that and then you will click on reply and it'll post your video. What you will find or if you're writing your post, it'll uh, post your response. So what I want to um, let you know is that you won't be able to see anyone else's post until you reply with your own response. Um, so if you are looking at the discussion and thinking nobody's responded yet, it's probably because you haven't responded um, or you're the very first one to respond to the prompt. So either of those two could be an option. Um, I have separated you into groups of 20 um, because I have over 100 students in this class and I don't want you to have to scroll through all 100 and I would really prefer if um, everybody had their post responded to. So um, let me scroll down. That is your discussion post. Here are, here's one of those examples of why I want you to go through the modules because of these great videos that you have access to. And these don't show up again on your calendar or your to-do list. So your conception videos this week are awesome. So this is just kind of my favorite explanation of, um, from a child's point of view of where babies come from. So I figured since you're learning about that, it's always awesome to hear what children think about that topic. So, um, this other video, probably one of the best fertilization videos I have seen, um, really detailed, really interesting, um, some great facts for you, a great way to kind of visualize um, what is being talked about in your uh, textbook this week. So those are for your viewing pleasure. Now, here is your play posit study lecture. So these are lectures that I have recorded uh, previously. They've I think it's almost been about a year and a half um, since I've recorded them, but they are based from this new textbook. So all of the information is still relevant and current and accurate. So um, you might hear some information that you're like, hey, that happened a year ago. <laughs> That's because these were recorded a year ago. Um, but what you're going to do is you are going to Let's go ahead and see it from your point of view. And you're going to press play. So when you press play, you'll see my lecture Hi, start. And welcome to week two. And so this week we're starting something new with the recorded lecture and Let's see if questions within the lecture. I could go now a little bit further. Reading about and talking about a lot more than genes and heredity. So you'll have to watch a little bit before the first question happens. So in order to make this brief, um, when you're watching the video, you'll see a series of questions pop up. And once a question pops up, you answer the question and then you move on towards uh, and continue the video. So it's my way of making sure that you are paying attention and um, that you're getting all the information that I'm needing you to get out of the lecture for um, that week. So my thing with these play posits is I just want you to enjoy the content. And for that reason, you can take these as many times as you need to. They really are just for you to practice your comprehension of the material. Um, so you, they do have a due date. And so they are due on the Sunday night of that week's module, but you can open and close them as you need to. You can, um, attempt them as many times as you need to, um, and I'll take your highest score. So they're really meant for you to practice and to study for your quiz. So 
Speaking of your quiz, <laughs> that is the last thing that you have for week two. Um, it functions the same way your week one or chapter one reading quiz functions where you have one attempt, um, but you can open and close it all week long until you hit submit. So you can go through it as you're reading the chapter. Okay, And that is due on Sunday night as well. And then we have our little end of week two note and a congratulations to you for making it through your second week. See you week three.